Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back. And we're going to, you know, start this uh, calendar, the schedule out, and see uh, what this game is all about when it comes to its uh, weekly routines. All right, fresh catch. Help assist me by catching a fish. Like help growing some vegetables. All right, let's do some fishing and some uh, gardening. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Okay. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Perhaps you should? Yes. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As you this go. is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Okay, here we go. Some tutorializing. Both students and teachers of the Officers Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. Oh, okay. Professors at the Officers Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom, even outside their respective fields. The professor level determines your maximum activity points. Reading books, taking part activities. Okay. Okay, so that's how they enforce the strict time schedule. Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Hey, Teach, I hear there's gonna be. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. You best be concerned, because I ain't going to take it easy. All right, so let's go to the dining hall. I cannot... Oh, I can sprint, but I cannot jump. Oh, my goodness. Ah, here we go. The dorms. Pretty nice setup they got here. Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can, it may have been only for a short. Okay, so they're all repeating the same stuff. Who's this lady? Um, I uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye. Professor. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Professor, 
I've got a small favor to ask. Hmm. Right, I want to go fishing. I know there's a quest for fishing. That, that's what I want to do. until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Yes. I'm busy. Do you want something? Oh, snap. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating. This guy is a cocky SOB. I like it. Hello there, Professor. Well, call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? There we go. Yeah, I'm going to fish. There we go. If I'm playing a video game, I want to be fishing. I mean, why else am I playing video games in 2019? I did not know this game would have fishing. I'm kind of nervous. Okay, okay. Flaine at. What's up, Flaine? You have helped me so much. Well, oh, that didn't waste my activity thing? Okay, I thought for sure that wouldn't. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings. Oh, Petra looks dope, people. man. I gotta get her on my side. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. Is she on my side already? I forget. I gotta see these students a little bit more with their own house. Oh, yeah, black cat. I got a black cat. Oh, Mojo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. Why did I see that you can get collectibles in the environment? I'm gonna be scouring this place like a fiend now. People here. Our house is that of the Golden Deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Golden Deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. Hmm. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. It does interest me. It's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle House, 
I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. Want to switch sides? Blue Lions! Blue Lions! Before I came to the Officer's Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. I hate That's her where voice. I met Annie. Oh my That's god. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. She better be a good healer to deal with that nonsense for 80 hours. Sorry. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first king of Fargus. Luke, the king of lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Okay. Cool uh, backstory. Badass warrior king wearing like this stunning blue garment. Listen. Do you know the provenance of our class name? The eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. Okay, less less cool, but sure. Let's keep on moving, man. This castle is not gonna explore itself. Yeah. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with What's up, Gibbs? You stay twerking while you while you lurking, I baby. Burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend. I'm just trying to find my class waifu. In a manner, yes, but it's. More and I think I did, but I think she works for someone else. I'm gonna have to recruit her to my side. This Petra is bae. Professor. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. You could have just told me you have no idea how crests work, lady. You talk too much. I hear a member of House Stressville, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officer's Academy for the first time in ages. It is said that the Adrestian Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Mm, last time I saw a huge empire and a church get involved, it was Game of Thrones, and that was no good for anyone. Just saying. Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlan. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Okay. Seems very diligent. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? All right. All right, lady, relax. Okay. Oh, hold on. There's a second floor, right? How do I... It was... Not here. A moment, yes. Came in through here. Here's an idea. Ah, here's some stairs. where the professors are staying is up uh, second floor, I would guess. Well, oh, here's the throne room. Rhea. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. 
I'm excited about a mock battle. At this point, I forgot to fight. I'm gonna get rocked. Advisory room. Okay. You can tell they feel very secure in here. There's very little security in the uh, throne room. Hey, what's up, Dad? The church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanuman, Manuela, Yuritsa, and many of the knights. None of them were around 20 years ago. Hey, man, time happens. Time happens, Pops. I'm saying it's a new breed. I think. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you oh so very, very personally. So bizarre to have a lady who's just so openly flirting. It's so weird. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. No? Perhaps some blood? A couple of drops on the device are all I need. All right. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those few drops of blood are invaluable to my research. Oh, so much more to learn. I just know that this guy tries to do something weird with my blood. I will murder this guy. Oh, thank you, Professor. Those... He will die first. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. I like him. He's a fun character. He's very vibrant. Huh? Well... But I'm sure he's a badass when he has to actually fight. All right, we got a weird dead end here. A couple rooms I can't go into just yet. Really? I think it's really amusing that I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors, and to see that team at Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja basically team up to make the two best Switch games in a long time back-to-back -back because Marvel Ultimate Alliance just came out. Got the review for that up on the YouTube channel. Gave it an 8.3. Uh, and this game, and you could tell the engine is the same. Same graphics engine, same style. Has served as the vastly different types of games, though, which is really interesting. Actually, he was away from Garrett Mock for a spell, but he returned to his post last year. There is no one as familiar with the monastery's archives as he is. Register prominent noble houses. House Regan. Winning house of the Lester Alliance. Descendants of one of the ten elites in the Crescent Moon War of 881. They spearheaded the move toward independence from the kingdom. Huh. She is presently unaccounted for. Interesting. Os Goneril, descendant of one of the ten elites. Random truck driving by. Gotta love it. House Edmund. Alright. 
Ah, Kingdom of Fargus. This is really cool. I love reading like you get they, they're so into the backstory. Kingdoms and vassals and all this stuff between Total War and everything. I've been like I've already been invested in this kind of stuff. Insurrection of the Seven. Okay, some kind of rebellion. unknown for the heads of some of these houses. I wonder if they're going to show up throughout the storyline. It seems like everyone in the Empire right now, the Black Eagles, basically got to power through an insurrection. And now they are the controlling force. What? That's, uh, that's very fascinating. That's, uh, Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the Church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Oh, there's a lot of books here, huh? Five eternal commandments. Dare not doubt or deny the power of existence of the goddess. Dare not speak the goddess's name in vain. Dare not disrespect your father, mother, or any who serve the goddess. Dare not abuse the power gifted to you by the goddess. Dare not kill, harm, lie, or steal unless such acts are committed by the will of the goddess. The goddess cares for and protects all that is beautiful in this world. The goddess will never deny the splendors of love, affection, and joy, peace, faith, kindness, temperance, modesty, or patience. Follow her example, and in doing so, abide her laws. Wow, she just has all the power in the world, huh? Oh boy, even in video games, I don't care for religious mumbo jumbo. Alright, I'll come back here and read more of that, but that'll take up the entire stream if I just sit here reading. I got what I needed out of the uh, main houses. I think. Also, this goddess apparently says murder is okay as long as she says it's okay. Yes, sir. Seems kind of like a contradiction. Seems maybe that power can be used for evil. Towards some of these. Ah, I can't go out there, huh? Greetings, Professor. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss, anyhow. If you never make bad decisions, you're never gonna learn anything, man. Come on now. 
I don't have business here yet. Okay, well, thanks for telling me what I have business with, dude. You don't know my life. You don't know what I'm doing out here in these streets. What? Uh... I really want to find the training hall. I wonder if that's over here. No, it is not. These are the classrooms for each of the uh, houses. Let me run up here and then bang this left. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. I could probably take you, though. This motherfucker! Are you serious? You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you so No, everyone's real comfortable talking about how they're gonna destroy me in combat. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, that guy seems tough. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. She's a little cocky bastard. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> you can never trust anybody with snake eyes. Like, that. come on, like, he's so obviously an evil dude. What's up here? Hi. I gotta get run fast as shit. Oh, the sauna. Oh, boy. There's gonna be some cringe moments in the sauna, I'm sure. Listen to this. Yes. Hello. So. Okay. Yes. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request. All right, so I guess we're going to go to the greenhouse now. Looks like it would be that right down there, like dead ahead. Professor? The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Anyway. By gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops, flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Use the plant command to decide which seeds to use. More seeds lead to bigger harvests. And more compatible seeds lead to a higher quality. Cultivate to pay the greenhouse keeper to look after your crop. Your crop will be ready one week after you plant your seed. Okay. Usually it's nine months, but sure. All right. My thanks. I do like that you get the reward. Oh, whoa, whoa, headset. I do like you get the rewards like right away. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Any, 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 uh... What's up, Smurfay? Thank you for the lurk. Hmm. 
All right, so the fishing is done. Okay. Let's go hey talk there. to my man Sylvain here. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, we could try to fix it. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Let's go talk to the dining staff. I still don't know where they are. They're right over here in the middle. Oh, it has to be. These are all women here. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, I definitely want Petra. Let's do Ingrid. Why not? The food of Fonlin has great strangeness. I think it's wonderful to be able to eat a nice meal every day. Nice. I knew I could count on you. All right, so I finished everything I could do. Now, how's the mock battle happen? Do I have to initiate that, or is it must be part of the storyline? I'm guessing. So the game is, says connecting, not sure why it's doing that. Much appreciated. Sure. Oh, I'm going to have to turn on the online connection. If it's going to, like, take this long in between every action to pop a display about what everyone else is picking, I don't really give a damn. Because this is, like, brutal, this wait time. Holy Christ. Not worth it. Oh boy, here comes this month's mission. Ah, uh, here we go. Options. You can turn off all the animations. Huh. You know what it is? I think it's because I didn't have the game. I didn't shut it off. I wanted to sleep mode, and I think that is just causing... Look at that. What are spirits of the fallen and friends travelers? Oh, this online connectivity is brutal, dude. It almost feels like the game is crashing when it happens. Look at that. That's so bad. I'm just going to turn that off for now. That is running poorly. Did I save it? Oh, here we go. Actual battle time.
Rivalry of the Houses. Ah, it's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries, we'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or she, two. She's so cocky! <laughs> There's nothing wow. wrong with friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. <sighs> a good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh? In that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right. Faculty meeting. Oh wow, we're just in the battle, huh? Magic. You mean to attack and defense a unit that is a skill in the front of the class? Study reason to learn black or dark magic. Develop faith to learn white magic. Okay. Oh, wow, this is a very slick. Oh, you hear that music though? All right, so I have to take these characters. No, I gotta take him on him. Mercedes has a bow. Like Felix and Ingrid. Here, Lance. All right, bow. Oh, and they have barricades. Okay. Or wait, are we? Is it just us fighting every single class on our own? Okay, well, I think we're in the fight.
It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Oh, I kind of screwed up because none of us have a, a ranged weapon, man. We got magicians, archers. We are kind of limited in our tool set. Stay focused. Ready. I'll go. I'll cut through. What should I do? Kind of want to wing around. Oh, there's so many archers on their side, though. I definitely don't want to go against all these mages. So I'm going to try to wing around on the left side here. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're going to get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, 80. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not. Or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. Wait, everyone's fighting me? Come on, man. Thought it was supposed to be like even Stevens over here. Use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. Oh. Nice try. Pointless. Okay. All right. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Not a bad hit. Don't miss. Nice. I've lost. Oh, unthinkable. Sufficient. Uh, if I put Dimitri out there, he'll get the back hit, but he'll be so exposed, you know? I've lost. The new professor is quite a commander. Too easy. Done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Oh, nice, Felix. 
That man dodged a bolt of lightning. What a god. Hmm. That hurt. My, my. The new professor seems very capable. You're weak. All right, so I think I want to try to wheel, like I said, wheel around and get them on their flank, and then this teacher is completely exposed. I think I'm going to start moving in that direction. Now, they're not going to move. As long as they stay out of their range, it should be okay. His abilities here. Five hit when brawling. Axe prowess. And he's good at all three of those, huh? Sun shield. Ah, okay. Multiplies the units and adjacent allies experience by 1.2. Okay. Two sword prowess, one authority. Uh, let's see who else I have here. Unit deals five extra damage and no battalion is assigned. Okay, so he's fighter. He's better alone. Also increases XP. Okay, so I want Dimitri and my character close together for the uh, bonus XP that they'll get. Fighting of the unit. surrounded all we can do is fight back with all our might oh boy see what they try to do to us oh they did come on attack you threw a boomerang at me, lady? Or is that a hand axe? I couldn't tell what that was. That was crazy. Oh, this is perfect, man. I drew him out exactly how I wanted. His health is low. I I can't risk it, man. Maybe if I have him come here and smash uh him. Really 
necessary. Too easy. Ah, Felix leveled up. Ah, not good enough. Oh, nice. Double shot. Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. You're wide open! To him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Yeah, spear garden mother effer. I will get what a smooth yet. guy. Ugh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on. Seems uh, a little risky. battle experience is well I was as good as useless you fought well all right named finally I'm not setting a very good example but the bad RNG roll right there hey you didn't compliment me like that when my class won last year Choice in the situation is a head on attack. Oh, so you heal if you stay in that thing. Got it. Well, I think I need uh, Felix, Stay definitely fidget. needs to be in that thing next. Let's put the squad out in front. See, the music is so good in this game. Oh boy. All right, I did the right thing. Holy shit, that hurt. Oh, if he gets attacked again, he's dead. Oh. Oh my god, clutch! What a clutch block, dude. Oh man. Oh dude, that was incredibly fortuitous. Did I fail? I must need to train harder. Why am I even here?
proceed with caution. Get him. Oh, so close. Oh my god. Oh, no. No. Oh my god. I got so lucky. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that that's hype. That that got me hype. What should I do? This is guy off. Ah, the new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. Give up. I kind of want to turn that guy into a, like a monk, like Not fighting hand to hand. All right, everyone, uh, hang out in the healing thing. Be mindful. Our time healing in here. Stay focused. Yep. I will, I will take advantage of this thing while I have it. Apologize if you guys think it's floating, but it's called being tactical. And when I'm doing real battles and my characters can perma die, I'm gonna need to do this kind of stuff as much as possible. So I'm just getting in the habit of it right now. Start training him hand to hand. Okay, so those are not going to move until I break this barrier. Send these two down. Myself and Dimitri will come up here. Dedu will go up here and take the first shot. His defense is high. Wait, he's just not gonna fight without an axe in his hand? I thought he'd fight like hand to hand. Did I, did I mess that up? I need Ingrid to get a win here. She has not killed someone yet. Perfect. I'm not at my best today. Forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. Okay. 
Okay, everyone's here. A weapon durability is a bummer, man. I gotta be real careful with that. Keep healing herself. Okay. Proceed with caution. I want my character to get the kill here. Too slow. Oh, she's not dead. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I got counterattacked again? Well done. Oh wow. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. That is that. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House. This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. 23 turns. Felix was the MVP. Oh yeah, I'll definitely save that. Uh, that's a that's a good clean victory right there. Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix, you really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. You say that... But your eyes tell a different story. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but... I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together. So, I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. I'm a Dimitri boy all the way. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. 
Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. Huh. I sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? I love the music every time she shows up, man. It's so good. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. <sighs> Whatever shall I do with you? I am alive within the confines of your heart. I am unknown to all but you. But through your eyes and ears, I see and hear. Just listen to your heart as you are doing now, and we may speak like this. That is all that I know. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless. Uh oh. Distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now, a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Who is hey, this dude, this is man? What I agree to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Uh, damn you! Interesting. That guy looked wild. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do like a real battle soon. Like full fledged battle to the death. Harpstring Moon. Part one. White clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar scenery. This guy's voice, man. If he was just to read me a book, I'd fall asleep. And I'd be like the most gentle, peaceful sleep In I've ever known. In honor of the saints oh, whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. Hmm. $1,000 a month to teach, not bad. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, 
Use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down. Ever. Pops got the real advice, man. That's real shit. That's how I feel anyways. I don't even know who Annette is. Monastery hold events of various effects. some actual stuff here. That's what I want. I want some gauntlets here. For him. Felix is actually good at bows and melee fighting. Maybe I'll give him the uh, the gauntlets. Shields. Some good stuff. In the mask game, you travel to places you've already been to. Ah, that's nice. And okay, I think I'm gonna stop it right here. Uh, I just want to thank everyone again for watching and enjoying some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, I won't be uh, recording the entire playthrough, but anytime I'm home and I got it in the dock, I will for sure put it on and give you updates on what's going on. And I'll continue my campaign with the Blue Lions. And uh, we'll see if I can get the squad a little bit more versatile than everybody having a melee weapon. Uh, I need some range. I need some magic. Um, but that's it for now, everyone. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. I'm off to get ready for work and things like that. So I'll see you all later.